How are you guys? So I am showing you my nook and horse. I still have to do the hooves, but I'll do them later after I do my special. So this is like kind of a Halloween-y special, although it's nowhere near Halloween. This is my Nick and Horse. Um, thanks to Daisy Stalls, go check out her channel definitely because she made much better of a Nick and than me. But oh my God, I got all these ideas from her. So thank you so much. I made it look like yellow and green off of like a fish. I forgot what it was called, but um, so did she. And I used some, hold on you guys, it's actually right beside me. Just right beside where I am. So if you buy, buy like oranges, I just cut off some of this and then I painted it brown. Just like she did, except she made it out of like sewing thread, which is like super, super impressive. But it's like an old fishnet. There's algae growing on the horse. It's not really algae, it's just, I took some scissors and I cut in teeny, teeny, tiny little strands, um, like teeny, tiny little things, uh, some felt. And if you cut it off up, good enough it will turn into like this like powder like stuff then i painted a lily pad and i made vines growing down the horse from the lily pad there's actually one vine that goes from here and wraps all the way down its leg over here i put some more algae she has some algae on her um Main. She has glowing yellow eyes. I'll show you guys a picture of Nookin in a minute. After, like, I do my special, maybe before. Okay. So then there's a chunk out of her ear. What actually happens would was my dogs chewed it up shoot this horse up so I was like oh why not make it into something so I actually made like a gash in her ear where the dogs chewed up her ear um but now I'm gonna do like a special for her and also you guys at the end of the video I will be showing um what is it called I will be showing um Nookin a picture of Nookin and this is my horse version of it Nookin is told to lurk by the water's edge he will hunt and kill and eat anything dumb enough to come near the pond. When Nookin is not hunting, he's hiding in the shadows. People say Nookin can't ever feel the warmth of sunlight. What would happen if he touched the sunlight? The only person that knows was drowned by Nugan. That ray of sunlight is what caused this in his ear. Legends say, if you're dumb enough to come near Nugan, you will pay. Nugan had to be a fool, but there's no one old enough to tell the tale of him is a foal. They say he's been around for hundreds of years, lurking in the shadows, searching for his prey. And all we can do is wonder about him. Every year, a brave soul goes out to try to find him again. Of course, no one has succeeded. They say Nugan has a sweet side. But is that true? No one will ever know where Lucan lives, except the ones who really see him. There are few people who have survived seeing Lucan. There is one person who said their partner out them looking for Lucan got seen by Lucan. 
and he turned into fire. His ashes flew into the sky. Twelve days later, the one still alive went to go see Nugent and never came back. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my special of Nookin. Anyways, this is Nookin's form. He's a pond monster that looks for prey in the pond. This is him. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my and seeing my story of Nookin. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!